I'm here with Beckloff uh, for Worcester Valkyries. Um, oh, I don't know what to say. What happened today? Uh, we are gutted. Um, we put in a good sec uh, first half. Um, our scrums dominated. Um, really felt like we were the better team in that first half. And um, second half, you know, things didn't go so our way. Um, but oh, just uh, absolutely gutted. Um, you know, when when you know that you should have won. We lost that game. Is that is that what it feels? It wasn't a case of them taking it from you, you lost it? We lost that game. Um, we should have had that in the bag. Um, too many errors at this level. Um, you're not going to win games. No, that's that's fair enough. I mean, for your perspective, you've only just come into the side. You've only joined a, you know, a couple of weeks ago. How does it feel for you playing with these other players? Uh, it's fantastic. Um, I love playing with different players um, in different countries. Um, it's amazing. Uh, the, the girls are a great bunch. They're a young bunch. They're still, you know, learning a lot. And um, I love, yeah, just trying to help and um, input my knowledge and where I can. When you say they're still learning, do you feel that that's perhaps one of the issues that you just can't get that W on the board? Possibly. Um, yeah, we we probably um, are lacking a little bit of experience around the park. Um, so yeah, it shows. Was anything said um, sort of at the end of the game? Obviously, I know that you're all standing there. And it's very difficult, I'm sure, to pick everyone up after 11 straight defeats. But what can you guys do? What can Roy do? What can you know the fans do? What can the club do to turn this, this around? Um, yeah, really get behind us. Um, you know, we, we have such a great club and facilities um, out at, at Six Ways. Um, yeah, just, uh, you know, a bit more backing um, from the fans. And, um, you know, we're still plugging away. We're still working our asses off um, week in, week out. The girls are still staying so positive. Um, they're still learning uh, and there's, there's still lots of positives as well. And speaking of positives, just before you go, you were absolutely everywhere today. Can you personally take any positives away from that? For, for my game? Um, yeah, look, um, any, any game time for me is really important um, for my game back home in Australia. So um, I'm just loving being out here with the girls. Uh, you know, it's, it's, I love playing rugby. And that's the most important thing. Thank you. Sorry you didn't get the win today, but thank you very much. Oh, thank you. OK, so I've managed to grab some time with Roy Davis, uh, Director of Rugby at Worcester Valkyries. It's been a tough game for you guys today. What exactly happened? Well, that's the million dollar question there. That's what we'll uh, spend all week trying to work out. But um, uh, look, I think we just didn't control the ball well enough. We made too many basic errors, really, to allow us to uh, you know, have some repeatability and have some, any momentum. Uh, and, you know, that we, we were unable to build pressure. And likewise, when they put a bit of pressure on us, we were unable to manage the pressure that they brought as well. Was it tough to take because you played so well in the first half and going towards the latter part of the second half, it almost looked like you were going to go away with your first win of the season? Yeah, it's interesting. I actually think that we didn't particularly play that well across the game. I thought there were some good elements of what we did, but again, that consistency in our play and our accuracy and our detail just, just wasn't there and it meant that we we just couldn't generate enough momentum to you know, get the reward for some of the possession we had and some of the territory we had. You've lost 11 in a row now, but you know, looking at the side from, from, uh, from the stands, it doesn't look like a side that should be at the bottom of the Tyrell Premier 15 table. Yeah, look, that's very nice of you to say so. Um, they, look, there's a lot of talent in that room. And, you know, obviously, when you're in a run like we are, it's really hard to generate belief. And, you know, a lot of the time, you know, belief and mindset can get you out of a lot of trouble. And occasionally when there is trouble, we just, you know, aren't able to find that within ourselves because we, we don't have the experience of doing it before. But, look, I think, you know, we, there's lots of talent there. They're not bad players. They're not bad people. Um, it's just about getting those key details right when it matters. And you've obviously got um, a long-term project for this side, hopefully. You know, where can you see this side? It is a young side. So where can you see them? Maybe not this season, but in the next sort of season or two afterwards. Yeah, look, it is a long-term project, but I think we've got to be really careful that we don't just always talk long-term, long-term. We've got to deliver week to week, ultimately. That's what our jobs are as, as players and as coaches. Our job is to go and win the next game. And, you know, today was an opportunity missed. Today was an opportunity to come and win a game of rugby. Um, and we should have done it. Uh, and we didn't, so you know, that it's less about looking at it as a long-term project, it's more about fixing those things and trying to put them right so that the next time we're in that position, we do get over the line. 
And speaking about rugby, women's rugby as a whole, talk to us about women's rugby maybe in the West Country and just around the country. It's thriving, it's growing. Where do you see the game in the next few years? Yeah, no, it is. I mean, um, probably pertinent to point out that we're Midlands, not West Country. I know people, a lot of people get that. So a little my bit. It's, it's, it's like a, there is a border there somewhere, but um, <laughs> no, absolutely. Um, look, I think the growth of the game is massive. I think participation numbers. I just think we're really starting to get some really talented athletes come through into the game now which can only board well you know particularly look at our some of the girls who've gone our center of excellence at the minute and there's some outstanding uh, athletes there who've also had no good contact time and been playing since they're well some of them since they're seven eight years old you know brilliant brilliant well listen i'm really sorry about today but there's a lot of positives and uh, i really wish you well for the rest of the season thank you very much appreciate that thank yes, you thank you so i'm here with jay wong uh center for richmond correct yeah and it was nail biting but you won it was very it was i had my heart in my mouth most of the match i'd say um but thank goodness we we won we won we managed to pull it back i don't know how i think we switched our brains on and then realized actually um, we're down in this game so yeah yeah i, I heard you got i was speaking to uh, alice soper and she was saying you guys have got a bit of a habit of going in at half time on the losing end and then turning things around why is that do you think I, it's a really bad habit of us um, I think we like the pressure in a very strange way, um, which isn't really good, good enough for us at this level of rugby. So that's something we're trying to fix at the moment. Um, and we are pestered by the coaches and we pester each other about it as well. So we've still not quite found what works for us. Um, but something clicks because we come back out and then we, we do manage to sort of bring the game back. So hopefully we'll, we'll keep trial and, and erroring the, uh, the situation. That's, um, yeah, uh, you say try and error. It seemed like the, up until the last maybe 15 minutes or so, you were, it's fair to say, uh, a bit sort of timid. And then the last 10 minutes, you really kicked into gear. Tackles were flying in and those moves were sort of coming off a lot more than they were in the first part of the game. Yeah, we, we certainly came, became more alive. The wind affected our game a lot. Um, we usually try to kick out of our sort of path, um, but it was just not the right condition at all. So then panic mode happens and um, suddenly the kicks don't go to plan and again, pressure's um, built on. But then suddenly players then realise, oh, let's carry, oh, let's enjoy it, let's play the rugby, let's, you know, go forwards. And, um, and once we get the momentum like that and the tempo, actually, we do some really good things as a team. So it's just that kind of, um, rule the waking and that belief and then and we all lift each other as we go but it does take a couple of players to kind of kickstart everyone into that sure and speaking of which um, you on you can find us on social media at women's rugby show we got a, a good clip of you stealing the ball probably around where we're standing now and then running halfway up the uh, the other end of the pitch. yeah absolutely I think in those situations <laughs> it's uh, if you do it well and you pull it off it looks great um, if you don't do it well and you and you miss and you go for the ball and they score, then obviously that's something you have to take on the chin. But um, we're, we're getting better at reading the game, reading the situations, and working really hard in our defence, especially in this 22 um, defensive area for us. So I think it was um, something that I just went for and, and it and it pulled off. So I was very lucky. I just didn't have the gas to go the whole way. <laughs> yeah, I think we got that as well. Don't worry, I'll try and cut it. Yeah. Um, so just quickly, just, just to let you go in, it is, it is a little bit cold out here. Um, you've won three games on the bounce now. Yes. You've got that momentum. Does that ease the pressure perhaps for, for Richmond? Does it make you feel perhaps that you're not getting dragged down towards the bottom of the table? Absolutely. Um, I think it's uplifting for the girls. Things are starting to click more in, in place. Um, we still have a lot of work to do. Um, a, a lot of new players playing today, uh, stepping up to the mark, which is great. Good experience for them. Um, looking ahead to Sarri's next week away is always a tough one. So um, I'm sure training this week will be um, strong. We'll have a good turnout and we'll be trying to utilise the things that didn't go well today um, and, and turn it around for Sarri's because um, we're going to have to be a lot cleaner and crisper. And um, I think our brain's going to have to be switched on right from blocks you certainly are you certainly are well, listen you you got the uh, player of the match today yes congratulations yeah. nice bottle as well. yeah, very nice <laughs> we'll go and ha have some now and warm up thank you very much congratulations again thank you very much Mike. right i'm here with alex zdonek uh, who played front row for richmond yes. today yeah uh you look very very happy i can understand why <laughs> you got it was tough but you got the win today it was a very tough shift up for up front a worcester had a very good pack and a very good front row and they were making our life pretty miserable up front so it was definitely a hard shift and my neck is feeling it <laughs> you put in some hard hits today 
Uh, yeah, um, from what I can remember, I think I am. <laughs> it's all a bit of a blur because you react to the moment. So, uh, you know, defensively, you know, it's always that worry because you don't want to be the person that lets through the, you know, the try, the try winning score. Uh, but yeah, so I, th- I think I have. <laughs> well, listen, it was it was a tough first half. Mm. What was, you know, what was said perhaps at half time to maybe turn things around? Um, few harsh words which were justified uh, we did definitely take our foot off the gas at one point and I think we just I, I don't know what it was I think we just slowed down a bit and we were we I think we were responsive rather than proactive so rather than in, uh, putting our stamp on the game we're just responding to the game and um, and often that's not what you want to do you don't want to let the opposition dictate your speed and your tactics uh, and I think maybe that was a little bit of that and also we've had a bit you know we've had a big shift in the line up to cover injuries uh, so I think that took some getting used to you know we train of course we train together but there's always going to be some time adjustment that is required you talk you talk about those injuries that are coming does that make a, a difference when you're playing you know you've got a talented group of players but when you've got those that are on a roll or you know their form's been good or, or they've perhaps got some more experience does that affect you as a whole um, I think it does because it's all about the dynamic because um, Often, you know, you will see teams that uh, have individual stars, but they don't gel well and they're not going to get very far. And then you see teams that actually may not have those individual stars, but because they gel well across the board and because they know how to play with each other, they will go a lot further because they're consistently at the same level rather than just spiking up and down. And I think, you know, um, like I say, we tra- we all train together, but there will always be uh, preferred combinations that get more time together. And of course, when those kind of ingredients are taken out, it does affect it does affect the mixture. So it always takes time to bounce back. It always takes time to respond. Um, and I think we did really well handling that today. But of course, it might be a bit rusty at times or just unexpected, you know, because you're not used to necessarily maybe at that player playing at that position. And of course, you know, there's a reason certain players are starters and because they bring that energy, they bring that skill and, you know, filling in in my case um alice sopper's boots or stevie farrow's boots you know there's a reason they were starting ahead of me and you know you try to keep up that dynamic but we're all different players we all bring something different to the mix uh so it does i think it does affect a bit but i think as a whole we did really well to just get that get everything together and keep going forward absolutely and you know we sort of you were towards the end of the game you were still down did you know that you had it in you or did you think perhaps this is this isn't going to be our day i think that was the hardest bit is because me personally and i think a lot of the team or all of the team knew we had it in us and it was <clears throat> that was the pressure it was like hang on a second we've got it in us why isn't this happening <laughs> and i think that's even worse because you know sometimes you go out against the giant teams and you think Do you know what <laughs> like i think sometimes oh cut your losses <laughs> You know, can we minimise the deficit? But, you know, with certain teams, you're like, no, 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 we should be winning this. This should not be a loss. Why are we at a loss? And you feel a lot of pressure to fill that to fill that um, result. So I did think, I thought this is, you know, if we don't get the result, it'll be very, very disappointing because we definitely had the skill set to get the result, which in the end we did. Absolutely. And what does this now mean for the rest of your season? You've won three on the bounce yeah. for the first time this season. Um, you've got a tough game next mm-hmm. week. Yep. Yeah. Where do you set your sights now for the rest of the season? Um, well, to keep this momentum going, because um, you know it's not always about the results; it's about the process. And what, what's been really good about the last three wins is the fact that we've evolved with the that the process has, ev- has evolved and our skill set has evolved. So the win is you know it's a cherry on top, but there's no point winning if your process is not in place. There's no point winning if your performance is not up to standard. So what's been nice about these wins is that we're constantly getting better and better and better. So I think we're definitely on a momentum. We're definitely going up, and it's just how much we can capitalise of this and what sort of gems we can cook up from from this going forwards. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, look, finally, before we go, it's a little bit cold out here. <laughs> um, just for, you know, this, this show is all about promoting women's rugby. What would you say to anyone who hasn't maybe seen uh, a Prem 15 game or doesn't know much about women's rugby? Like, what, what would you say to people to, to maybe come and watch a game? We're a lot tougher than we look <laughs> and the hits are just as hard as when the men hit each other and just give it a chance just come down have a look and you know when i tell people i play uh, rugby they always ask me if it's touch 
you know, that's the first question. Is it touch rugby? And actually, you know, you come down, it's definitely not touch. <laughs> that was not touch. Brilliant. Well, listen, Alex, thank you so much. Um, no worries, thank you. You can go get inside now. It's warm. Thank you very much and well done today. Thank you very much. Thanks. So there you have it, that is the end of episode two. Sadly, we're a person down. Uh, my co-host Bex uh, had to leave uh, mid-match and whew, I tell you what, what a match it was. Valkyries, we thought, we thought they were gonna get their first win of the season. That would have been quite a prediction for the show, but uh, fair play to Richmond. They really fought back and uh, they did sort of score that decisive try in the last few minutes. So yeah, it's still a nice sunny day here at the uh, Richmond Athletic Ground. So we've got another game going on between the development squads of Richmond and Worcester. So we're gonna go check that out. As usual, please make sure you are hitting those, uh, like that like button, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and most importantly, check us out at Women's Rugby Show on Twitter and Instagram as well. Do set that notification so that uh, whenever we post something, you stay up to speed with our channel. Thank you very much, it's been great to have you with us and uh, yeah, catch you next time, bye.